Today I'm gonna take you guys through all of my kitchen things, my tools, my accessories, gadgets, you name it. And I'm gonna show you guys all of my favorite things that I love that make cooking easy and make the experience of cooking beautiful. The kitchen is definitely the heart of the home, so I love adding new things to it to really bring that to life for my family. But take it with a grain of salt. You definitely don't have to have these things. It's a blessing to have anything at all, and that is not lost on me. And I've been building my kitchen for 10 years, so it definitely takes time to start building quality and figure out the things that you like and what you'd rather spend less on, what you'd rather spend more on and so it really is a lot of trial and error so hopefully I'll save you some of that if you're watching this video hopefully it just gives you guys some good ideas and inspiration if you're looking to add to your kitchen I want this video to be a really good resource for you guys so I'm gonna leave as many links as I can find down below one of my favorite items that I feel like brings a lot of coziness to my kitchen is this cookbook stand so it has the green and the wood accents and I'll either put my iPad on it or I'll put my meal planner on it so I use this little notebook and you can plan your menu and your shopping list and it's really nice just to occasionally write some things down for the week just to make yourself a little bit more organized and if I did write something down for that week then I'll just open it up and leave it on the cookbook stand so I can reference it anytime next is this little rattan rectangular basket and I like to store my oils my salt my pepper silverware all in there just to keep my counters a little less cluttered and then these are my enamel spoons so I love just really cute homey spoons and so I love the enamel coating on these and they're very kid friendly they have a good size big spoon for us and then a smaller spoon that is perfect for the kids. A lot of times my older kids will help with the dishes so instead of storing our silverware in the drawer where it tends to get a little bit mixed up and kind of chaotic it never really went to the right place now I just put it in a glass jar and it makes it easier for the kids to put away. My spice jars have to be one of my favorite things in the kitchen. So they're super functional and I love that I can just leave them out because it makes it really easy whenever I'm cooking something, but it's also extremely beautiful to look at. So these have nice copper lids and they did come with labels when I purchased them, but instead I like to use this craft tape and I'll write whatever seasoning is on there and I'll switch it up during the time of year, like Thanksgiving, I have poultry seasoning. So I love that it's really easy to swap those labels in and out. Next is some of my most used items and these are my kitchen utensils, my spatula, my ladles, whisks, all that. So these are some nice wooden handle and silicone spatulas. They're newer to my kitchen, but I absolutely love them. So it came with a full set. It even had a pasta spoon, which I don't think I showed here, but it does come with that. And I find that it's just as good as one of my favorite spatulas, which is my Staub spatula that I'm about to show you. But these are an excellent buy. They're really great quality. Next, these are some of my higher end spatulas and this one on the left is a, I think they call it a fish flipper, but it's by Smithy and I love the wood handle and the stainless end to it, I guess. I use it all the time for things like fried eggs or flipping vegetables or even on the grill. I find that it's really good for that. And then next I have my Staub Everything spatula. It is just for everything because of the shape. You can scoop with it, you can turn stuff, you can stir stuff. So this is a good option if you're looking for something that's going to last for a really long time. I've put this thing through the dishwasher many times and I have never had any issues with it. The wood handle starts to fade. So that's just something to take note of. So here are some of my most used baking tools. First is my French rolling pin. I love this because you don't have to hold the handles. You can just use your hands and get the rolling pin right where you want it. And then the next thing is my spurtle. And I use this mostly for my sourdough starter. I love to keep my sourdough starter in a jar. And this is the perfect little spatula to get down in there. And then next I have my dough whisk. So this I use for sourdough sourdough too. I'll mix it together with this and that's why there's dough still stuck on it. It's well used but these are really great for whisking eggs and anything like that. So this is a set of really affordable knives. So one is a chef's knife and one is a paring knife. So if you wanted to slice in a lemon or peel something the paring knife's great and then the big one is good for pretty much anything. And then I also wanted to show you guys this plastic knife. This is something that my kids use when they're learning how to chop because my kids love being able to get in the kitchen even before they know how to use a real knife. This is very helpful to keep those little ones involved. You know you love a product when you buy it in more than one color and that's exactly what I've done here with these material. I think they're called the Reboard. I love these. So they are kind of like a plastic feeling board and I love them because they can even go in the dishwasher. So my big cutting board on the counter that's wooden cannot. It has to be hand washed but these can go straight in the dishwasher and they come out clean every time. I use them on a daily basis. And then another thing for material I love is they're a big chef knife and they're 
peeler is the best peeler you'll ever use. It comes with blades that are replaceable and so you can keep it forever. They call it the forever peeler because you can keep it forever and it comes in three different colors. I think I have either the bronze or the copper. I'll link it down below but they have a few beautiful golden type hues and I love this peeler so much. I will never use another peeler. This is truly the best I've found. So this is a microplane, which you may not have in your kitchen yet, but I highly recommend getting one. I love using it for freshly grated Parmesan, zesting lemons, or even grating garlic for one of my favorite salad dressings. I use it all the time for that. It's just a really handy little tool. I love to buy things in bulk, and when I do, I usually store them in WEC jars. So these are really nice glass jars, and they usually come with a glass lid and a little ring and two little fasteners, but I actually prefer these white WEC jar lids that are plastic. They're so easy, and they're not actually touching your food, so it's not a very toxic thing, but it's super practical, especially when you have little kids trying to get hands in jars. I find the plastic ones are the best, and we just love these. You can reheat in them, and they make excellent storage jars and they're still so beautiful to look at. I love displaying them even on my open shelves. Next is one of my more interesting products, and this is my grain mill. It's by Nutramill, which is a Bosch company. This is an incredible product. So all you have to do is take some wheat berries. I like to buy these in bulk and make sure they're organic. And then I just dump them in and turn it on. And literally a minute or two later, I have freshly milled whole grain flour that is still full of all of its nutrients and vitamins and minerals. So this is a really practical way to have good quality flour, especially if you're interested in making your own bread or pancakes or really any sort of baked good, even muffins. And then sometimes if I want a more all-purpose type flour, I will take this little sifter and I'll just put my flour through there a few times just to take out some of the bran. I like to make most of my breads homemade because I've had a gluten intolerance in the past, so it's really helpful to make it your own and make it using sourdough. So something I use all the time every week is my digital scale to weigh out exactly the grams. It's just a no brainer. And a tool I love that makes scraping dough off the counter a lot more easy is a dough scraper. So I use this all the time when I'm forming my loaves. And then this is my infamous dough tub. I love this thing so much. If you make homemade bread, you have to have one of these tubs. So I will make my dough dough and I will put it in here and let it ferment overnight or in the fridge and it is just the easiest way to make big batches of dough at a time. On the same subject, this is a really old, really well used lodge pot and this is what I like to bake. Any sort of hard crusty bread, I would love to put it in this pot and don't worry, I put down parchment paper so my bread doesn't actually touch the bottom that's not the cleanest. This is just stained from high heat so I bake my bread as high as I can. It will leave little marks on it but it is serving its purpose so well. Next is my booze block butcher box cutting board. So I feel like I've been waiting all my life for this and it's as good as they say. So the one thing that you need to do is make sure that you oil it using either oil or I like to use their particular mystery oil because I just trust it. And so I use this and I'll oil it down. I use an unfiltered coffee filter to do it. That way it doesn't leave any debris or dust like from a paper towel. It would kind of shred. So I highly recommend using a coffee filter for this. And I just like to take care of it, wash it, wipe it down and let that oil oil sit and then the next day I'll follow that up with a little bit of their board cream and this is kind of like a beeswax type cream and it keeps your board really well conditioned so that's the key if you're going to invest in good things for your kitchen you have to make sure that you're going to take care of it so that it can serve you well. my Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer Pro. You guys have asked about this one so many times and it is truly probably my most used thing out of my entire kitchen, which is a little strange since I do have a big oven, so let me explain. This is actually an air fryer and that's the main purpose that I bought it for originally. So I used to have one of the regular air fryers, but they are coated in that non-stick material, which is very toxic, especially once the high temperature kicks in. So that's what I love about this air fryer or one 
one of the things I love is that it's non-toxic. It's actually voted one of the most non-toxic air fryers because it's mostly stainless steel, which I love. Also, with my family size, we're a family of six, and having a regular air fryer that's one level just did not work to get most of our dinners on the table. So I love the fact that this one has two different levels and you can move them around so I can fit my big cast iron skillet and a whole 9 by 13 in this thing at the same time. So it helps get dinner on the table really fast. It heats up extremely well and cooks very evenly. So there's so many different things I love about this. It came with the original black baking sheet you just saw, but then I also bought this enamel one because it fits so well in this oven. That way I can have baking sheets going at the same time. So good drinking water is obviously a very important part of life. So this is our Berkey water filter and I really don't trust any other water filter besides Berkey. They really are one of the best and I like to put mine on this little wooden stand because it makes it easier to get water out. And then for the kids, I love giving them these stainless steel cups because it's a lot better than breaking glass all the time. I feel like cups are always breaking in our house. So I finally invested in some stainless steel cups a little while ago and they've been fantastic for water and for smoothies. And then for me, I love using my stainless steel Stanley. So I am a huge coffee and tea lover and these are some of my favorite mugs. So one of them is kind of a chunkier mug. It's more of a diner style, farmhouse style mug. And then my other one is a little more earthy. It's more of a stoneware type mug and I love them both. It just kind of depends on what mood I'm in that day. So I love the different weights of them, the different feel. It just makes my cup of coffee or tea feel different. Now for my coffee, I'm very particular and the Nespresso is my favorite. So I used to make it in one of of the stovetop boil espresso makers and I've had French presses and coffee pots, different kinds of coffee pots, and nothing has come close to my Nespresso. So they do have organic pods, which I recommend. And I love that you can just pop it in, in the morning. It's really simple. And then I'll froth up some milk in my frother and it makes the most delicious lattes. So I'm a huge fan of the Nespresso machine. You can never have too many fruits and vegetables in your kitchen. And so I love to be able to display it so that I don't forget about something in the pantry and have it go bad and one of my favorite ways to do that is this little antique looking wooden dough bowl one of the newest additions to my kitchen is my stoneware crock and it's very similar to the one that i keep my utensils in but this is a big two gallon crock that's stoneware handmade here in the usa they come in a bunch of different sizes and to be honest i want them all and i put a plant in mine but what they're intended for is for fermenting so you can ferment different things like sauerkraut and some of their smaller crock these are some of my favorite strainers or sieves. I love how sturdy they are because if I'm pouring something in there, I can smash up against it and I can shake things out and it's just really sturdy. Usually the ones that are mesh are really easy to break. They'll start coming off of the side and just kind of collapsing, but these do not do that. And I like to take this out to my garden and here in the high tunnel, I'm gonna pick something and I like to wash it outside. So this is the perfect little strainer to do that because then I can really make sure that all that dirt is off and all the bugs get to stay outside and live and they're just really great quality i can use them for so many different things whether it's straining washing fruits and vegetables in it it'd be great for berries there's so many different uses for things like these Next, we have my favorite apron. So this is a blue French stripe apron and the rest is cream and it's kind of a linen material and it's just really fun to wear in the kitchen. It's such a practical thing, but it's so beautiful and I love just hanging it off of my fridge or off my pantry. It's just fun to have in the kitchen. Now I'm heading over to the front room in my house and if you haven't noticed, my kitchen is very small. So in this front room, I have a big storage rack where I keep all my extra little cooking goodies. So first is this amazing little storage meal prep Tupperware container, but it's glass and then it has silicone around the edges of a glass lid which I think is really unique also has a vent so you can let out the steam and then close it up which keeps the food extra fresh next are my banneton baskets I use this for my homemade bread along with these flour sack towels I'll use that to line my banneton basket just make sure it's well floured so your bread doesn't stick and I'll use those and then I will bake my bread off like my loaf breads I will bake off in these glass loaf pans I love to take something ordinary and turn it into something beautiful. And I love using these tulip muffin or cupcake liners that are unbleached parchment paper instead of just the normal ones because they're so beautiful and they're really functional because it gives you like a little compartment to hold your muffin in. So it's great and also kid friendly. 
I'll admit I might have a slight obsession with buying new towels for the kitchen, but I promise you they get used. So these are some of my favorites. They have different patterns, different textures. I love a little fringe on a hand towel. I use them for drying produce and vegetables, and I use them for drying plates, and then I'll also use them for my website photography. So if you didn't know, I have a website, healthyelizabeth.com. Next, let's move on to some of my favorite baking dishes. I love Staub dishes. They're incredible quality, and I love how unique they are and how nice they look, and they're actually really affordable, and usually I can find them on sale. So I love these oval ones. They're matte black. They're really rustic looking, and I love that they're super functional, but then they also make a beautiful presentation any night of the week. Next, I have a few more gadgets that I don't use all the time, but they're still really nice to have in the kitchens. So the first one is my little mini food processor. This is great from making scones to cranberry orange relish to pie crust. There's so many different uses for food processors. The next item is another Breville item. I'm a huge fan of Breville. I feel like all their products never disappoint. So that is just my Breville juicer. If you're like me, you can never have enough mixing bowls. So these are some of my favorites. They have a silicone bottom so they don't slide all over the place, but then they also come with these lids. They sit right on top. So they're not completely 100% airtight, but they keep things covered enough that you can prep things and pop them into the fridge and it's a lifesaver. Next, let's talk pots and pans because these are some of my favorite pieces that I bought. So this is my big Staub stock pot or soup pot it's cast iron enamel these are incredible quality they're heavy duty and they're heirloom pieces that are going to last forever so this white one is my newest addition Stop was actually so nice to reach out to me and gift these to me because they know how much i truly love their products and use them all the time so this is a smaller version of my big pot but it has the glass lid and then another difference is the handle color so one has the silver handle and one has a gold handle and you can actually switch these out they unscrew so you can kind of personalize it. So to match my first big stock pot, I have this enamel skillet. I think this is a 12 inch, I wanna say 11 or 12. And these are the kind of items that instead of purchasing a whole set of pots and pans, you get one skillet. It's gonna last you for the next 30 years. They're also a whole lot better for you than the standard pans that you're gonna find out there. If you're not really sure about investing in pieces for your kitchen yet, I would say try one. And once you do, that's why these things tend to become collections. <laughs> Next is something you're gonna see on my stove that's almost just part of it now, and that is my Smithy cast iron griddle. So this is a US made heirloom cast iron griddle that is really top notch and the best quality cast iron you can get. And I use it every single day, either for fried eggs or pancakes. There's so many uses. This is my over the sink drain rack. I'll place my heavy pots on it to wash them. I'll rinse produce like a strainer on it. It's really great because you can roll it up and put it away if you're done drying dishes, which is great if you have a small kitchen like I do. I've had a difficult time finding dishcloths for my kitchen that I think are good quality and that actually get cleaned and maintain their integrity. And these are some of my favorites. I don't know if it's a waffle knit or a crochet, but there's something about the fabric that is just held up so well, even to washing dishes. The next item is one of my must haves if you have kids in the house and that is a washable kitchen rug. And this is not one of those expensive ones. I think I got this one for under $50 and I throw it in the wash pretty much every other day. I feel like there's pretty much no other good way to have a rug in your kitchen unless it's washable because of all of the little spills and debris that fall on the floor. If you've seen just about any video on my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of my Instant Pot and my Crock Pot because it helps me as a busy mom get healthy meals on the table every single night. So I'm a huge fan of those. I use them all the time. This is my Crock Pot. It's from Hearth and Hand, so you can get it at Target. I love it because it's white. And it also has the traveling clamp, so you can close it if you're taking it in the car to a potluck or something. And then there's also a green one I've been eyeing that's very similar to this. So if you like color, I'll have that one linked for you too. And then there's my infamous root cellar fridge that I use for all my produce when I have it coming out of the garden so I have plenty of room for it and I also love that it works as a freezer too so I'll go back and forth between storing lots of our summer produce in it and then other times especially like during the winter I'll store all of our meat that we buy in bulk from the farm. Some of the other odds and ends I love in my kitchen is my electric can opener, my immersion blender, my apple peeler and core, serving board, copper measuring cups. There's so many little things I keep in my kitchen but I hope this video gave you guys some good ideas inspiration don't forget everything will be linked down below and if you're new to my channel make sure you check out all my other videos